macro 2. Okay, so for this macro, we're going to develop a sculpting sphere. So we're going to make a new macro. Hit yes. And for this macro, we're going to go over here. We're going to develop a 3D box. Click and drag it out. Hit edit. Go down here. to unified skin. Oh, make poly mesh first. So make it a poly mesh. Then we're looking for unified skin. Okay, I'm going to lower this all the way down. Lower this all the way down and hit unified skin. What that's going to do is going to make a skin right next to it. So I'm going to click on it. Then I'm going to turn on uh, my wireframe. Now it looks like I can't even reach my wireframe anymore because spotlight's on. So I'm going to turn spotlight off. And yeah, and I can't reach wireframe because of the video. Well, that sucks. Okay, so. That's all right. Wireframe does not need to be turned on, and we're gonna have to. F I'm gonna have to fix that in the interface and put wireframe up here or something. All right. So what happened is it made a unified skin, and now it's all uniformed. The problem is it needs to be reduced all the way down. So what I'm gonna do is reconstruct subdivide until it won't let me anymore. Then I'm going to delete higher and divide. And I'm going to divide all the way up to about right there. Well, maybe one more. Okay, that's good. And I think that's it. That's all we're going to do. So, to patch this up, all I now have to do is go in and end the macro. Save it as sphere. Then come down here. Go to Preferences, Enable Custom UI, and drag that new macro over to my shelf. Oh. There we go. And again, don't forget. It's very important to test all this stuff out. So store UI config. Initialize ZBrush, yes. And let's close this out. Let's hit J on the keyboard. Let's go into sphere. Good. Now why did I do that? Why did I build a sphere when there's already a sphere. Well, this sphere is much different in its topology. This sphere can handle a great deal of change on the mesh. The other sphere, this one, if you see, it's ending in a polar cap. So it doesn't really hold a lot of change where the other one does. So that's a sculpting sphere. This one's just junk. Alright, so now that I'm done with that, I'm going to go into the next video. Next video, well, I'm going to now move this up here so I can get the ability to turn on wireframe, which is one of my favorite things to do. And then we'll start going through some of the brushes and how to sculpt and all that good stuff. So, meet me in the next video.